frontman wide player. Yeah, he's he's not even got to see him. He's a good specimen of a lad. He's you know he's got physical strength, pace, and power. Um, and it's something we needed to add to the squad. So I'm, I'm delighted. It's taken a bit of time. You know, there's been a few clubs in for him, and we're just delighted that we managed to get hold of him. And like a few of your signings, all right, he's stepping up from the conference, but he's a good age and he's got plenty of motivation yeah, and a point to prove. Yeah, definitely. Um, he's a good age. As I said before, he's he's strong and he's quick and he likes to get at people. He likes to excite the crowds and he's, he's scored some cracking goals and um, he'll be a good asset for us. You know, in, in any of the four attacking positions, he, he can play anywhere across the front line and um, like I say, he'll, he'll be a big addition for us. Bath City seem to get the best out of him. Have you spoken to Lee Howes? Of course I have, yeah, yeah. I um, saw him a couple of times for him. Um, spoke to Archie numerous times and uh, glowing reference from him. He, he's a good player, you know. I spoke to Stuart Cash this morning. He did well for them, as well, for Wimbledon as well. So he's he's a good player. Um, we're giving him a chance to go and play fo league football. And you know, I think he's got that hunger, he's that desire. And he's... he's um, He's determined to get out there and, and show what he can do from the start. And, as you said, fairly big and strong lad, so yeah. someone who could take a bit of pressure off Jeff Goulding if you played them up alongside Yeah, he's got, yeah a different, completely different player um, to Jeff, but you know that's what it's about. You've got to have different types, different combinations, and, and say whether we play him out wide or up front, he's, he'll, be, he'll be a really good addition to what we've already got. And how many more additions can we expect? I mean, presumably you're still on the phone pretty much constantly. Uh, yeah, I am. We need another striker at least. Um, and we'll, and we, we keep working on that. You know, we've, We're have we speaking to people all the time and that will continue. It's just a lot of work behind the scenes. Um, we're after a, we need a def another defender. We're trying to get another goalkeeper. Um, and possibly trying to get another wide man, depending on how far my budget stretches. You know, So we're trying to get the best possible squad we, ca we can. And, and within that squad, the, the most quality we can possibly get to. Some fans might look at it and think, well, is he going to be a squad striker or a team striker? You, you just have a squad normally, don't you? Exactly. You haven't got a first 11. I've got, I want a squad of 19, 20 players. And, and within that, I want everybody um, to be competing for, the, for a first team place. You know, we've got young Ethan, um, who's a young striker who can, we know can score goals in the, in the reserves and in the youth team. And, and I even want him to step up. I even want him to be challenging for the place because because that's what we need. You know, the young young boys now we've got Theo and, and Kyle. And, and and that's a good place to be if we can get the squad we get because you know we've got Russ Penn as a good age, Marlon Pack's a very good age, Cade's a very good age for us to <laughs> not many teams with pure kids just go out and win this league. You look at what went up last year, um, the experience they had in their side and we we feel we've got that. We feel we're getting that with with the players, you know, 23, 24, 25, 26, where they they know the game a little bit more, and um, uh, hopefully they can they can do well for everybody. And they're the sort of ages where players can play 40, 50 games. A yeah, season. E e exactly. You know that we, we we do our own work. We do plenty of own work on all our targets. And some we've we've missed out on. Some we we still have a chance with. It's one of those at the moment. We just. Hopefully now we've got Cade on board, hopefully it starts to, to happen a little bit more quickly. But if it doesn't, then so be it. We've got to be patient. And I said before, we're trying to get the best possible squad I can get to, to have a real good go this season. A few names being linked with Cheltenham. I see Steve Cabb as one. Is, is there anything in that or is that complete tosh? There's plenty of names. That, that Steve Cabb is someone I've not, I personally haven't spoken to. So, yeah, you know, I, I don't think you can you could throw any name at me and, and you know, I'm sure I've thought of them, but um, we're, we're, we're talking to loads and we've just got to see what happens over the next couple of weeks. Great stuff, thank you, Mark. Pleasure. Mark, you've got a decent track record of uh, signing strikers and you must be hoping that Kyde can follow in the footsteps. Like yeah, like, the ball and, yeah you know, like I said before, he, he, you know, if we play three up front, if we play two up front, wh whatever, one up front at times, he's something different. He's something he's different to, you know, he's different to Jeff, um, but I'm sure they'll complement each other. He can also play wide. He, he comes in off that left-hand side. He's got, like I say, he's got he's got attributes that we need. Attributes that are going to make our team better and stronger. And, and he's a big, powerful boy, quick, and he can beat people. He likes to run at defenders. He likes to drop his shoulder. He likes to take players on. And, and 
and that's you know another part of what we need. Yeah, you've you've had to get used to losing strikers at the end of seasons if they scored a lot of goals. But he's he scored he signed a two year deal, so if, yeah. he, if you can't get the best out of him this year, at least you can be getting some money it, it, for him if he was going to exactly. Get. You know, the chairman's been been bold and, and gone and got him on a two year deal, and we've given him the platform. But I'm sure he'll take it as well. You know, it's he's a good player and he's it's a step up, yes, but I'm, I'm sure he's got the attributes. And as I say, don't necessarily just. See him as just a straight down the middle man. You know, he can play either side. He can play. He, he's he's different to what we have. When when you're looking at potential targets with the amount of money you've got to spend, you have to look at players who might not have reached maximum potential in the past, but yeah, you see something in them rather than yeah, signing players who are definitely. perfect. Yeah, definitely. But but that's not that's not you know we've, Kate, we've been after Cade for a little while. We we tried to get him in January. Um, and like I say, I'm I'm really looking forward to him. He'll he'll excite the fans. You know. He's got something. He really has got something.